when we talk about heart disease, cholesterol is always a, one of the you know hot topics, and I think it's still debated quite a bit. A lot of people say you got to get it as low as possible, take these take these drugs and get it lower. Other people say it's not as bad as we thought it was. Where do you stand on that? Yeah, so I guess I, I think about um, some some finer definitions of, of blood cholesterol and some of the patterns that that we look for, and um, you know, for for example, we know that there. Even in, within LDL, so LDL stands for low-density uh, lipoproteins, sort of gets mislabeled as low-density cholesterol. It actually isn't always cholesterol. LDL refers to the, the, the particle itself, and then cholesterol is usually inside of that particle. Um, but uh, we know that there are different changes that, that happen to the LDL particle itself. In some cases, it becomes smaller and more dense. Um, this happens often in diabetes because those particles actually get filled with fat. They get filled with triglycerides rather than being filled with, with cholesterol. Um, cholesterol makes those particles larger and more buoyant. Triglyceride makes those particles smaller and more dense. And we believe that the smaller, more dense particles actually lead to atherosclerosis more rapidly. The other thing that can happen is LDLs can be um, oxidized. They can be chemically modified. And that makes them very, very inflammatory. So there are some finer differentiations in terms of cholesterol that we can measure that help us impact um, or help us determine risk and impact therapeutic goals. That said, I, um, you know, my belief based on the science that I have reviewed and that has been going on now for over 75 years repeatedly demonstrates that the blood concentration of LDL, of low density lipoproteins, is the leading risk factor for developing cardiovascular disease and having a cardiovascular event. And we know that through many, many large studies in cardiovascular epidemiology where we look at cohorts. We know that in animal models. We also know that drugs that target lowering LDL clearly reduce cardiovascular events and, and improve cardiovascular mortality. So in my mind, it's unscientific to say that LDL doesn't contribute to cardiovascular disease because we literally have decades of research and hundreds of thousands of people that demonstrate that risk. Um, that said, there's a lot of ways to treat it and to improve it. I think one other thing in terms of LDL targets, because that is a very, very controversial area, um, the recommendation for people with diabetes is to have their LDL below 100. And if they have known cardiovascular disease, then we lower that goal further down to below 75. So the reason that is is because um, trials of some medications have demonstrated that if you can bring the LDL down that low, a, you reduce inflammation, so we see reductions in inflammatory biomarkers as well, and B, you can actually begin to reverse atherosclerosis and begin to reverse the volume of plaque in the coronary arteries, and, and that's why it's pushed so hard. It's, it's not only the potential to stabilize, but there really is the potential to reverse coronary disease if we can bring those risk factors down low enough. So that number that everybody has grown up knowing at 200, you know, above or below that 200 mark, whether, you know, making it good or bad, it's a little more complicated than that, you think? It's a little more complicated than that. And 200 refers to our total, total cholesterol, which is really, again, it's not really total cholesterol. It's really total LDL, VLDL, and HDL. So um, VLDL, very low-density lipoproteins, HDL, high-density lipoproteins. So we look at all those lipoproteins together, and it gets labeled total cholesterol. I think it's unfortunate because it's not really accurate chemically. Um, but yeah, that 200 threshold does re refer to total. And as you say, no, it, it's not that simple. Um, you know, someone uh, may have a total cholesterol of 200 with an LDL of 180 and an HDL of 20. You know, HDLs are, are protective, and we really want to narrow that ratio between LDL and HDL. Um, so we, we do have to look finer than just total.